Go with me to Joshua 5. I want to show you something. Joshua has uh, the um, Israelites there on the edge of the promised land. They've come across the Jordan River and they're, they're camped thinking toward what's going to happen when they go in to that town where they've already seen through the eyes of the spies that those people are so big and so dominating that they felt like grasshoppers in their sight. And it says in verse 13 of Joshua chapter 5, when Joshua was near Jericho, he looked up and saw a man standing in front of him with a drawn sword in his hand. And Joshua approached him and asked, are you for us or for our enemy? He says, neither. I have now come as commander of the Lord's army. In other words, I do not take sides. And it says, then Joshua bowed with his face to the ground in worship and asked him, what does my Lord want to say to his servant? And the commander of the Lord's army said to Joshua, remove the sandals from your feet for the place where you are standing is holy. And Joshua did that. Now Jericho was strongly fortified because the Israelites, no one was leaving or entering. And the Lord said to Joshua, look carefully, look, I have handed Jericho, its king and its best soldiers over to you. Go march around that city. My husband, Keith, is a consummate outdoorsman. And from the time he was a little bitty guy, he was trained to see things that most of us never see in nature. And he was given such an appreciation of being outside and being able to look through what would camouflage into something that had life, that an eye that had not been trained to appreciate it would completely miss. He's the kind that will see a bird on a limb that nobody else would have noticed. He'll point out an owl to me that I wouldn't have seen. Maybe a hawk. We live in the country, so this kind of thing happens all the time. There are times that he'll look through limbs and he, he, he'll lead me in and go, do, do you see that doe right there? Or maybe he'll see a fawn that's in under a shrub that's like 200 feet from us because he's got eyes trained that way. And, and one of the things that he does with me is his, he'll get me over with him because I'll say, I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. And, and he'll get, he says, come over here, come over here. And he'll, he'll lean me into his right shoulder and have me put my head on his right shoulder, and then he takes his arm as straight as can be and points his finger, and he has me lean into it. He says, Lisbeth, look all the way down my arm and look exactly where my finger is pointing. And every time I see it, Joshua, look. I have given them to you. He's got all this anxiety over there going like, okay, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? All you're going to have to do is march around it. <laughs> He's not feeling like, I mean, like, they're ours. He's going, Joshua, look, look. See it the way I see it. I have given you this victory. 